Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so in the last episode, we didn't do a lot of other things. Well, we went to the nether, got our arse kicked a lot, and, uh, yeah. Well, I've done a few things around the base in the meantime. Um, I've put these down to have a look at them, because uh, we were talking about ore generation the last time. And, um... If we look over here, doo -doo 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 -doo, we have different ways to, to do resources. This was one of them. This was the ore one. Uh, right here. Uh, growth ores. And it's slow, but uh, it's okay. Uh, the gold and the iron can be doubled. Uh, everything else cannot be doubled from what I can gather anyways. But, but uh, it's it's very slow. So... Um, we're going to be dealing with create later on, so I put these uh, andesite ones here. They're compressed andesite, and uh, that's nine blocks of normal andesite put into one, and yeah, and then uh, now it grows these crystals. So you can harvest everything all at the same time, which is kind of nice. So what I've been doing is just throwing in the uh, extra iron and stuff like that in here, and just keeping the uh, andesite on me here. So, I took me 45 to make them, and I've made back my 45 in a little bit, uh, in over an hour, I guess. A couple hours, I would assume. So, yeah. Um, I put in this little platform down here. The uh, plan is, is this is where all my storage is going to go, because we have uh, plans for storage system today. And... Uh, as soon as I can make the clear, clear glass, I'm, that's what I'm going to put here instead. Um, instead of having all these lines here. So that way it's just going to be all nice and clear. And then I put made these botany pots. I talked to you last uh, episode about uh, these botany pots. And these are pretty awesome. They will grow mainly just the... the see, I've got a couple of uh, saplings on this one. But they, these ones mainly just grow the wood, which is really nice. You can use them to grow different things like uh, wheat. And it gives you very low seeds, which is unfortunate because we need lots of seeds. Um, here I did some grass and some taters. And then uh, this one is just kelp. So kelp is going to be used for the create section later on, which is going to be super fun. Um, that's going to be... See, I think our ore generation is going to go in stages here, right? Um, so, like, like this is, like, how you kind of start off. Like, doing X and Halo, and then um, this ore generation one. So, it's a kind of a combination thing where you're doing these two things to start off with. And then you kind of got to go, like, automate crap. Well, then create is kind of like the introduction into automation right because in the end like you could just kind of go for a pulverizer do we have one of those in here we do and they just look different because of the way the mod pack is copper redstone flux machine frame iron and tin see this is also doable like very very doable Copper. Man. Um, <laughs> so, you think about it. We could actually kind of like skip the create. And uh, just kind of go straight to like, you know. Uh, what have we got for generators? Okay, so we got the normal types of generators. Uh, lapidary boiler. I wonder if the lapidary boiler is good in this one like it is in other ones. Uh, probably is. We should try the lapidary one. Copper, that, these. Oh, cured rubber. And the hardened glass. Okay, the hardened glass is going to be something to get. So we wouldn't be able to do that just right away. Alright, so in today's episode, we 
are going to do something about the storage. The storage is absolutely horrible. I'm tired of looking into all of these chests to find out what I'm looking for. It's driving me up the wall. It sucks. And we need to change that. And what I have planned for that is we're going to start off with some simple storage network. All right. So this is just gold, some crafting tables. This here is iron nuggets, some stone slabs. All right. We can do, we can do this. We can do this. We'll do a, a moderate little system here. Take all that iron with me. Take some gold with me. And I'll take these with me. All right, let's go over here. We do need uh, some iron nuggets. And we need slabs. That was the purpose of all of those in there. Do, do, do. I'm trying to see if I had any more uh, stone. I got more slabs. That's good. See the days of of looking through all these chests are almost over. See stone. I had one left. That's smooth stone. Alright, we should be good. Let's uh make some of these cables. Let's make a stack for now. Alright, so uh storage inventory, we need to make a dropper. So we just gotta get some cobble and some redstone bring that uh and my cobblestone is here i gotta make a proper drawer for this Oop. yes that's coming it's coming it's all part of the storage plan today <laughs> it's absolutely horrible all right so we're just gonna go here here we've got our dropper now now uh, we'll make this thing right here. And then we need the request table. So let's go get rid of. Uh, I guess we can put that there for now. Go for some wood. There we go. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough though. So we'll just uh, take it out of there. So we'll uh, go and we'll do 10 of these. And then I only need four. That's good. All right. What else do I need here? Our nuggets. I need another dropper. Oops. And I put that stuff back, didn't I? Oh, well. There we go. And there's uh back to here, back to here. Oh, is that the same thing as that? No. I mean, these crafting tables are not the same. They don't count. Are you what? Come on. No way. Seriously? I don't I don't believe it. Let me try full gold in the corner. Huh. Yeah, these crafting tables do not work. Wow. That means... Are you screwed? No. No. Well, found something. I made something earlier with the uh, wood essence and this. Now I just gotta find it. Where did I put it? There you go. Oak saplings. Now, I guess um, we'll take this out and we'll put an oak sapling in there. Well, that's that's uh, unfortunate. I'll put this here. Huh. Well, that kind of sucks. All right, so we'll wait for that to come in. Um, wow. That's unfortunate. But those crafting tables don't work. Hmm. That's weird. 
So anyways, let's go back to simple storage. At simple. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, so this was the other one I needed. Was it not? Quartz? Did I pick up quartz when I went to the nether? Please tell me I picked up quartz when I went to the nether. I never picked up quartz. Unbelievable. All right. So, I guess, um, off to the nether. Okay, so, um, I need quartz. So, I guess we're going to go to the nether and, uh, uh, let me bring some building blocks, maybe. That would probably be a good idea. That'll be good, that'll be good. Oh yeah, that's true. Mine uh, drops me right in the middle of a uh, of here. I forgot about this. I forgot about that. That's interesting. Those magma cube blocks could be helpful though. Um, there seem to be a lot of them there. There was like sixty-four, so. Kind of liking this so far. That would be good for uh, what is this? That soul sand, right? Huh. Interesting. I got a bunch of soul sand. That's good. I didn't. I don't think I picked any of that up the last time I was here. Uh, control, or what is it here? Um, um. Thomas the Dragon has awoken nearby. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, all those deaths are still on there. I wonder if I can uh, take those off. Waypoints. Oh, yeah. Remove, remove. Thomas the Dragon, huh? That's hilarious. That is funny. All right, let's go this way and see if I cannot use this stuff to, oh, I guess, build a bridge. That wasn't really high up. I get across here. Um, and then we'll take all of this because it's like helpful and then we'll try to find us some um, I guess quartz in here like what is all of this I'm picking up right now that's basalt and smooth basalt all right so let's go um, like this. We'll go mining tunnel like that, I guess. Good way of kind of seeing what's what's ahead of you there, right? So let's uh, see if we can go down here. Sir Tyson, the super, has awoken nearby. What are all these things? Is that you? That guy down there, I bet. Interesting. 
Man, I just came for um, trying to find me some. Uh, what the hell is that called? <clears throat> quartz. Yeah, just looking for quartz, man. Just looking for quartz. Oh, oh. What's this up here? Is that, um. Shapeless. Alright, alright. That was good. That was good. What is that? God knows. Alright, so we got 16 so far. 16 is better than none. And what is that? These, like, special mobs or whatever, like, they're scary. Alright, need to go back to the strip mining one. Unless I just build out. Probably just build out. Oh, see, so the quartz blocks you can uh, make crystals on too, huh? That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Damn. Okay, let's, uh, how that, how did that hit me? Stay away. Alright, so is that shapeless? It was shapeless, but still. That's unfortunate. I don't know how you guys got me. Ah! Okay, it's enough. I didn't do anything to you guys. Alright, fine. I got some quartz. Let's try to go in a different direction. Oops, that's not... Oh, well, that works. Not what I wanted to do, but it worked. So, maybe again? And again? What? I'll get lucky here and see if we can get some, some more quartz, I guess. It's uh, working for me. Alright, so we're up to almost a stack of quartz. That's pretty good. That's the stuff. Oh, that was in quartz. All right, doing pretty good, doing pretty good. That's iron by the looks of it. Oh, there's some quartz. Some iron nuggets. That looked like that was quite a bit. That was good. That was good. So we got well over a stack now. Aluminum nuggets. Polium dust. I think I'm going to keep that because... Uh, can make a chicken, I think, with that later on. Not a hundred percent sure. Is that that uh, solium block? Cobbled, cobbled soul stone. Yeah, you know what? I'll just take a bunch of that. Could be all useful, man. Could be all useful. There we go. Pretty damn sure it is for later. Oh, I think my pick is done. All right, that went very well. Okay, I, I wasn't uh, expecting it to go that well. Figured it would have been just a horrible experience trying to find quartz, but uh, it went well. It went very well. And uh, we got some stuff for later too. Um, this solium cobble and all the basalt and stuff might come in handy later. Might come in handy. Another warp block, put that there, throw all that there, that. And I think that's all that's needed. I'll take that, that. I don't want that in there. Oh yeah, I need this stuff here. Except for those things. That was stupid. But those don't work. Alright, so I should have had some planks grow by now, right? We got some. Twelve. That might be enough, actually. We got 
three crafting tables. So I'm missing one more. So while waiting for that, uh, I think we can craft the other thing now. That would be this, the storage route. Oh, I need to grab a diamond. We have lots of those. I'll uh, grab a couple to fix my, my pick here too. Uh, there we go, like brand new. Let's go back over here, grab this. Now we have the root, okay. So I think what is going to happen is I'm going to excuse me. How do I want this to work? I'm going to put it here, and that's what I'm going to do. So this thing here, we're just missing one crafting table, and we should be able to go. Let's look at day 39. I've done a lot since the beginning here. Oh, look, we get apples with that one, too. Wonderful. All right, so now we got all four crafting tables. This is uh, coming along great now. So now we have this. We plop that on top of there. So now we have kind of like a, a new little crafting station, right? But uh, now we got to hook that up to this. So the cheaper ones are these right here, right? And I'm assuming what did I do with that wood I had? There's some here. That's fine. That will be just fine. This will serve my purpose as well. Ah, oh, really? You suck. Okay, but I can make chests like that. Hopefully these ones will work in the recipe. Alright, so... Take those, and what was I looking for again? Oh yeah, these things right here. Bam. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll do six of them for now. Okay, so I want uh, got me some building blocks. Hopefully this works. So, 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 so. Let's just take this one out for now, and that one out. And then I should be able to why is that going down? That should no. Why? It's gonna be the same type of block, I wonder. I wonder. Wonder, 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 where did I put those blocks? Here they are. Just out of curiosity. Let's see, I can't do that now. Why did it work when I did it on this one? It won't work there. This going down mod is uh, very odd. I think I'm just going to grab a bucket of water. Probably be the better thing to do. Do I have any buckets? I don't want to go make it another bucket for nothing. No, I doubt it. I'm going to have to make a new bucket. Alright, so. We'll do it the brave way. Brave, scary way. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, because this is only temporary. I want to be able to take this down afterwards. So, uh, where's my cobble? Uh, we'll put a, I guess here, we'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then I could just do a jump downstairs there, and like this. Beautiful. 
I can just jump down here and I can remove all of these. And what we'll do is we'll just build a platform going out. This is going to be a temporary platform. Oh, I have another chest right here. We'll continue our little platform here. And that's where that is. These are more chests. So this is going to be where I want a controller. Or no, that's going to be a controller and that's going to be that. So that goes back to being that. All right. So, and then I want that off. Okay. So what's going to happen here is these little green thingamabobbers are going to attach to our our chests. So what these do, I guess I should have put these in a different spot. I'll build those on the way back. Um, so what these do, these will connect to our inventory. Uh, I think I need to go down. Can I bring it down one? Uh, because you're going to see it through the thing there, right? And I don't think these have cable mod ones. So I think I'll bring it down. That's what I'll do. That's not what I want to do, but for now, just to hide the, uh, the cables, I guess. We'll have to do something like this. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately. All right. So that's connected. That's connected. That's connected like that. Probably didn't need all of those, but that's fine. Um, I'll bring this one down and around. And then I could just do this, that, that, that. Like this. That means those are all connected. I can jump up up in here. Destroy all that cobble. I can put a block there back. And I can go there. Uh, see, later on, I want to put a drawer controller here. So I'm going to need another cable here. Now, I should be able to just look into here and access everything that's in these chests. So we're going to sort that direction. I want to sort by amount. There. So now we can see the most of everything that we have. And we can see everything that's in those chests. So now this goes good for like crafting stuff. So say if I wanted to like uh, make a hopper, right? Use this as an example. Oh, I have no hoppers. Oh, uh, yeah. right. hopper. And you can go. Oh, well, I can make a hopper. You know, pulls all the stuff from your inventory to make a hopper. So that's just freaking awesome. So that's like our, our small little little uh, temporary crafting solution. So that's good. That's going to help us uh, craft all kinds of wonderful good stuff. So now I can actually take that, that, and I'll leave those two on. And the next goal is at... Uh, what is it? Storage. There's another one. Assorted storage. So this assorted storage is probably the nicer compact drawers uh, that we have and the storage controller. 
Uh, crate controller. Yeah, because these are all classified, I guess, as crates. Yeah. Interesting. But anyways, these crates are really cool because they have singles, they got doubles, they got three items, or you have uh, four items. So depending on what you want to plop in there, you have a variety. Now the uh, one we're going to be starting with is the controller. Okay, this is the controller. Then what we need for the controller is just any kind of those. So we'll go to cheaper ones. And then what is this? Oh, really? So any kind of pearl. How do we get an ender pearl? <clears throat> Other than uh, killing an enderman for it. So it's a 50 50 chance of killing an enderman. What is this? Statue. Uh, I got uh, enderman chicken. Natur nature altar. Okay. Uh, crushed end stone. How hard is it for us to make end stone? End stone, end stone, end stone. In a barrel, lava with glowstone. Lava and glowstone. Now, do we have any glowstone? Let's check out our new little handy dandy thing here and we can go glow. Look at that. We do. We do. I want to. Okay. Let's, let, let's, let's do this. Okay. Let's do it. Now to make lava is pretty simple. Um, do I still have that set up anyway? Right here. All right. Let's grab some of this. Um, put that in the other hand. Now, if I fill that up. Oh, is this uh, the super slow one, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this could take a while. This could take a little while. All right. So that's unfortunate. Um, hmm. Slowly, plans are crumbling. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. All right. So that's how I get Ender Pearls. In the meantime, we'll uh, can be any cobble or deep slate. I like that. I love that. Uh, we can do one of these. Probably gonna need more stone in here, which is fine. Because I know I only have a couple of left, so that prepares for that. Then, uh, let's make these drawers, I guess. Cobble deep slate. And it has to be oak, huh? Interesting. The chest, I don't think it matters. I think the chest, we can get away with uh, it not being a proper chest. So let's go here, let's go here, here. One, two. They actually look really nice. Like, I, I, I like these ones. I might end up using that in particular one, but we'll see. We'll see. So all you need is two of them, or what? Yeah, all we need is two of those. So all we're missing now is just the ender pearl and that. That's good. And that will be our our controller, and then we'll be able to put all kinds of stuff in drawers and access it from from this right here. So uh, that's going to be the goal, the goal of today's episode. <laughs> I might um, might put down a few more of these. 
Any other way to make uh, lava in this game? Nope, that's lava. Uh. All right, let's check it out. So just the crucible, huh? The nether rack seems to make the most. But uh, what is it, a time thing? I, it's the heat source thing that I'm kind of like... Wondering here. Hey, what is that? What are you? You're a pig of some sort. A pig, just a normal pig. You look weird. How did you spawn in here? I, well, I'm not going to complain. Did you come in on the grass that was over there? But I slowly planted over here. Is that where you came in? You're not like no demon pig? Because you got sparklies about you. I don't know. And you got this mohawk thing. But welcome, 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 Mr. Piggy. Welcome. Alright, so. So, so, so. Lava, lava, lava. See, because that's going to take a while. Um... I could always go to the nether and just pick up a bunch of lava, right? Technically. Technically. And you could put it in some kind of tank. Or a barrel and bring it back. Because I wasn't that far from lava. And the heat source thing, though. It's the heat source. Um, what if I go you? This is what I'm looking for. So, that's times three. A fire is times five. And a soul fire is times five. So, the fastest we can get is with a fire. So, if I put netherrack under one of these and light it on fire... <laughs> yeah. Um we'll have to do that somewhere a little bit safer. Okay, we can we can do this though. We can do this. We can do this. Alright, let's um I have another rock. I got soul stuff too. Soul stone. Where did I put that over here, right? What am I looking in here for? I should be using my fancy thing. Let's do, uh, well, let's do just the one for now. Do I have my flint and steel? Oh, flint and steel. All right. So if I, if I, if I, if I, just destroy that. Screw it, right? And then... I need some cobble anyway. It's just to mount it up somewhere. Where do I put this? Where do I put this? Sure. Um, hopefully that doesn't catch nothing on fire. Leave a space. Put a cauldron. And then... Uh, Light this bad boy on fire. That should be times five. And then if we grab this, actually, because this seemed to, uh, this is like a, only two. Yeah. Only two. Interesting. Let's go up and have a look. This is times five smelting. Well, it does look like, I think, it going a little bit faster than the other one. Definitely going to need more of these, though. All right, so we'll leave that be. We'll leave that be. Now, I, did I try that in this one? Can you put a hopper going into one of these? 
I can't remember if I tried that. Uh, so I did have a hopper. I know I made one. We have a hopper. Congratulations. Now, can we do something about fluid, maybe? A little fluid tank, maybe? Uh, these are the basic ones. We can make one of those. Those hold 32 buckets, so that's good. Now, what about pipes? Just put pipe. So, we got Wizard Reborn pipes. And then we got Create pipes. Oh, that's not exactly what I wanted to do there. So, do you need... I think you still need a pump. Yes, you need a pump. That's what I thought. And we have no other fluid pipes right now? What the hell are these? Fluid pipes. Do you need like a, a wrench? Universal pipes. So these are from the pipes mod? Is that what that is? Uh, pipes. It is, it is, and they have a pipe wrench, which we can make with two flint and... Alright, we can do this. Let's uh, do that. And then we can... Uh, we need the fluid pipes. So we're just missing buckets. So let's do some buckets. Five, six. That gives me almost a stack, that's good. Okay, and then that means I could just use item pipes too, but uh, anyways, whatever. A uh, little science, little science. Okay, so we'll just uh, put that there. Uh, I want to grab my glowstone though first. Oh, so it's got to be in a barrel, right? Not in the crucible itself. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll fix that. We'll just make sure that this works. Okay. So we can feed that into there. That's beautiful. So we'll take our tank and our new pipes, and we'll go pipe here like this into a tank. That means whatever you make is going to go into there. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right, so now we got lava generation. And you can see, uh, hopefully see what's being made in here. You know that uh, is not really staying on. Save and quit, done. There we go, now it's staying on. That's probably why I forgot to save and quit last time. So now we can see we got a bucket of water, a bucket of lava on there, that's good. That's very good. So, lava's being made. Seems to be made quite fast, I guess. Relatively quick. Then, we can take that, and we can go uh, one more step, right? And come over here, and we can make a, a barrel. Maybe I should just go stone barrel. There you go. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but she'll do. I got more stone in here being made, right? I do. Another thing I can look into. I got a stone barrel here. Um, that's simple. Look at that, they do have the remote. Storage remote. Okay. 
Can we make one of these? Slime balls. We have two slime balls. Where did I get you slime balls, per se? Oh, magma cream in a water bucket. Please tell me that those other blocks, that I, those magma blocks, can break down into magma cream. Let's see how. Can I get magma cream out of these things? That makes boiling magma. You can do stuff with them. I want to get magma creams out of them. Multi servo press. Is there any other way to do that though? Doesn't seem like it. Just the multi servo press. Well, that sucks. Um, slime. What other way can we get slime? How did I get those two slime to begin with? That's the question. I might have got them in a loot crate. That's true. That is very true. Villager. Interesting. There's the water bucket and a magma. Maybe I can go find some magma cream in the... Uh, In the, in the nether, one way. Then uh, there's a slime chicken. This one you got to breed a green dye and a clay chicken. Snowball and a sand. Spawns in a beach in a desert. So this one you got to run around for. There's no breeding it. Um, but you can make them, if I'm not mistaken, right? Sand chicken. Creeper. Clay. R. I'm pretty sure you can make these. Like, uh. Use the spawn and maybe sand around it. Uh, sand chicken. There's spawn egg. See, you get a chicken spawn egg. You can put a sand around it to make a chicken sand. <clears throat> Interesting. So. There's that. Um, lots of weird things going on here. Yeah? So we can put that there. Like that. Like that. That will fill up with lava. Then I can take this. And now I have endstone. Yay. Then you can take this endstone. You can put it on the ground. Smash it with a hammer. Now you got crushed end stone. Then you come over here and you can sift it and you get a chance to get nothing. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much all the plan for that. I'll let that go and back up and make lots of lava and then at least I can do a few at a time. Um so 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 that's all to get what now what are we doing this lava and uh oh the ender pearl so i can get the uh yeah 
I remember now. I remember. All right. So what else can we work on in the meantime? Try to get uh, ahead here. So like in the nether, then we can make a paraglider. But we need more leather. Uh, how do you get rotten leather? Rotten flesh. So I wonder if we should work on maybe making a mob farm. Because they have, um, they have, that's mob. They have these little mob farms. So you got to like grab a mob. So that one's a passive one. There's other ones for, I think, hostile mobs, too. And then you can uh, build them. But there's, like, a whole section in here, too, about those. Do, 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 do. Mob farms. A server-friendly way to capture different kinds of animals and mobs to gather their loot. The mob farm uh, operates autonomously, handling its own automation. It utilizes its backside as an input and the bottom as an output for both insertion and extracting items. All right. So the first thing I want us to make is a lasso, a golden lasso. Interesting. I have a slime ball, but I don't know if I want to use it to make this. But if we make more stuff with it, maybe... Let's, uh, let's check it out. Is there another thing? Why? Oh, was it because of the remote I was trying to do all this for? <laughs> was that it? For this thing right here? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just leave that there. And we'll go mob. And we'll leave that there. All right. So now we know what we're kind of doing this for. Because now I feel less, uh, less dumb. All right. Makes me too. I hope uh, these don't have a durability on them or whatever. So we got a golden lasso. Allows you to catch mobs so you can then place them onto a mob farm. All right. And your lasso and the gold one. So does this specifically only let you catch host uh, non-hostile mobs? Target a mob and right click to capture. Polar bears, pandas. Parrots, chickens, rabbits. So there's cages and big cages and insects. Alright. Alright. And then the first one they want us to make is a copper mob farm. Well, let's put that there. Let's try it. Let's try making a copper mob farm. So, and you don't have copper over here, and you need another hopper. That's not a problem. Let's make a couple of them. And then copper is over here. Bring that. Just a stack will be good. And then... We got that. So now we got a copper mob farm. So the output is at the bottom, huh? So if I grab like a, I guess a chest. Uh, let me grab two chests. Let me go back to that pipes mod. Oops. Which ones are the items? These are the item pipes. Ugh. They need droppers. 
three, four. Let's go with six. There we go. I'm gonna need some of them. Now, the idea is, where's that pig? Please tell me that pig didn't just fall off the edge. What? He committed pigicide? Oh, well, that's just garbage. That's just garbage. All right, so what my plan is, I'm going to do something like this. Uh, so that don't work. Doesn't seem like it connects to that. Unless I have to, like, change it, but, um... Anyways, let me play with this, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I think I know what I'm going to be doing. Um, took a little bit of deliberation and thinking and the whole nine yards, but I think our best bet, our best bet would be go down a little bit of create. By doing that, I think we're going to... We're going to get a, a heads up on uh, on the rest of the stuff that we're doing. <clears throat> I think that everything's just going to kind of fall into place afterwards, right? Um, so that's going to be the plan. And I did go make one of these uh, compressed uh, end stone blocks. So that's kind of cool. So we're do, uh, getting some end stone and some more uh, andesite. Andesite. Uh, Freely now. Okay. So that's good. Oh, I must be out of like coal. Yeah, I figured that's probably what it was. Glowstone dust. How did you get in there? Must have thought you were something else. That's fine. Um, we'll have to work on the coal thing in a bit, but that's, that's not uh, important. So let's start off with uh, some create and um, create some stuff. That's a good way to start that. Well, um, I want to get rid of these things first. I'm going to leave that there. Now, let's go into the... End of the quests. There. And you're in here and create. It's going to give you a little bit of a quest line. We got a large water wheel at the end. This thing, I'm really curious to see how big it is and how much more power it pushes out compared to the small one. And if it's a lot better, then we'll definitely use the larger ones, right? So first it wants us to make some uh, andesite alloy, which is uh, pretty easy. Okay, let's uh, do that. Where is uh, here? So we'll do... 22? Sure. That sounds good for now. That way I don't over over make anything, right? So, now it wants us to make an andesite casing. Now we don't, we can do that ourselves. We don't have to use a machine for that. So, if I'm not mistaken, I can just use any wood for this. Please let me be any wood for this. No. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One second. Um, axe. If I'm not mistaken, you gotta shave it first, then do it. There you go. Perfect. There. Now we got ourselves a uh, andesite casing. Okay. That's not too, too hard. And it wants a mechanical press. So that's a block of iron and a site and a shaft. So let's go here. We can make a block of iron, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, we ain't making a block of iron. Iron, aluminum. Oh, is it because it just said axe in there? That's why that wasn't working? Maybe. Really, I, I'm out of iron? There's no way. What did I do with all that iron from earlier?
There's no way I used all that iron on something. I don't believe it. I'm in disbelief. Aluminum, iron. Man. I swear I had a lot more iron than that. Hmm. I don't recall doing anything else with it. Iron. Eh. Yeah. That's weird. Okay, well, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll keep going with this thing. <laughs> mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. Alright, so let's just throw that in there. We got that. So that's good. Next thing, we want us to make a hand shaft. A hand crank. So we'll do that. Hand crank is done. And they want us to make golden sheets. All right. So we need to put this down somewhere. Like this, like this. And it doesn't matter where, really, for now. I guess we'll just... Okay. It's going to do like that, right? So then we just remove uh, this. And then we put the hand crank here. We can throw some gold there. I'm sure it's going to want more later on, but uh, just for demonstration purposes and get the quest over and done with. Are you serious? You didn't go. You didn't get thrown down. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Got my first plate. Now we need to make a wrench, which is three plates and a cog. And the glasses are an extra plate. That's four plates. So one. Oh. Let's go one, two, three, four. And then we'll just crush them. Not super fast, but it's it's crushing them. Then eventually we can you know, have all this kind of stuff like automated, right? All right, so we're done. We got uh, five plates. Go in here. We'll uh, throw those in there. So the cog, the small cog, is pretty easy. And uh, let's go here. Now we got the wrench. Yay. And now, what are we missing? Glass, huh? Did I make glass? Apparently, I didn't make glass. Hmm. Well, let's make some glass. There we go. I'm going to have to get some more... Um, is there coal here? No. No coal. Interesting. So, uh, maybe we'll burn some, some wood. I'll go like this and this. We'll go... Oh. Can't make charcoal out of this stuff? Oh yeah, because I have the blast furnace recipes in there. Only. That's why. That is why. That's fine. I'm okay with that. We'll put uh, you there, you there. Screw it. There we go. Good enough. We're going to get some glass now. We've got four. Let's do the, the glasses here. Now we got the glasses. Awesome stuff. Love to see it. Now I can put them in the bubble slot. Awesome. Good stuff. I want to hope. Hopefully, they work in the bubble slot, though. All right, so we're up to there. Now we got to get to these water wheels, which that seems pretty easy. And the large ones are just the smaller ones. 
Wow, they really simplified it in this one uh, for the water wheels. I'm, I'm liking this. So let's make one, two, three. Because then we can make three big ones, I think. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, oh, except I screwed up because uh, I didn't put these in my inventory long enough, I guess. There you go. Um, so I guess we'll have four big water wheels. Why not, right? Or do we do go for five? Yeah, let's go for five. That way it's an uneven number and it looks good. <laughs> All right, so we got some five large water wheels. I bet you these things are going to be absolutely ginormous. But uh, let's get uh, some cobble here. Now the middle is here where this thing is. So we go here. Sure, we'll go with this way. We'll mark this as being the middle. Um, let me check this out. See how big they are. Oh, and that's how they're going to get placed, too. Alright, that's that's not too bad. I guess I could deal with something like that, right? Alright, so that's the middle, that there, that there, and that there. So that would be the middle of our our area. <clears throat> now I guess we gotta make something around that to make it look nice. And then the power is going to come off the side here. So when we get this spinning and water going around it, we should be able to see how much SU is up there. So right now it's producing zero SU at current speed because it's not going anywhere. So let's build it a nice little box, I guess. Um, I guess. Do, do, do. We'll make it out of this here. We'll go like that. And we'll do these ones. Just to be a little different. Alright, so just to know where the middle is on this thing. It means that's going to be the front. Water will come off of that by here. All right. So this is going to be somewhat of a frame. I don't think the back matters like this right part right here. I think I can leave that off like this. Something like that. That's good for me. I didn't bring my torches though, which was really dumb. Because now it's nighttime. That sucks. Alright, so let's bring this over here like so. Alright, so if I put the water here, the water should all flow this way. Oh probably over the edge right here right i'm like i'm assuming it's not going to be that's yeah, probably exactly what's going to happen all right i'll remove this for now too at least the blocks fall through all right so let's um we get some Go to bed first. So nothing spawns over there. 
<laughs> all right, all right. So let's go and get uh, the torches because I know I'm going to need torches over there. Then I need a bucket. I have one bucket. One bucket. You know, that sucks. <laughs> Oh, I'm so low on iron. I don't understand why. Don't understand. We'll harvest this again. I don't know where all that iron I had went to, but must have made something with it. That's for sure. Because I know it wasn't dull for for that. Um, all right. Let's go here. I'm gonna get sidetracked. Keep thinking of stuff that I gotta do. All right, so now we got that. Well, I guess we'll just do this one bucket at a time type thing. I'll make a, I guess a stair ladder thing. Just for now. Let me kind of figure out where the water's gonna go. Ah, oh, sweet. It did that. It's it's going to go all right in there. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. So that means I should just be able to um, cap that off like that. That's good. That's very, very, very good. I'm happy to see that. Got a band playing at the bar in front there. Uh, very annoying. Very, very annoying. <laughs> I will admit. I'm playing something very bassy right now, and it's. Uh... Okay, so a resource block will work there. That's fine. We'll just keep running back, back and forth. Off the edge. And last bucket. And then I think we'll have our water wheels done. There we go. Water looks really nice though. Like on an angle there. Very, very nice. So, I wonder if it gains extra boost from it having the water go that way too. I wonder, because then I could lift that all up by one, and but I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so we're at 512 SU. So let's do a little bit of science here and find out if that's a thing. If it does gain more water or more, um, they look like they're going faster. Uh, maybe not. Let me go get some more of that brick first thing and see what's gonna see what's going on. Alright, put that there. One for this one. Like I said, this is all experimentation. Not, uh... So now all the water... Still 512 stress units. So that doesn't seem to change anything. So they're not like the ones from um, what the hell is that called? Uh, immersive engineering. Those ones you have to put water in three different spots in order to get like the uh, the maximum water flow. But these ones just seem to be 
up top and that's good enough so am i really only getting like a hundred and something stress units for the whole thing here so i took all of them off for the curiosity so that's just a a thing of water now um so that was the middle so let's see how many stress units i get 512. Uh, okay, so it must be 512, but then I'm on, if, if I get one of those thingamabobbers, this should be fine. This should be fine. This means I should be getting technically like, there should be 2,500 stress units for this whole thing together. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's how that's working. Um, other way to find out, <laughs> for sure, is to. Oh, I guess I gotta fix that water flow at the back. Don't like that water flow back there. Get rid of these. Beautiful. And then this water flow, I gotta stop. I don't like it. There we go. Not gonna really see the back here anyways. There we go. I'll just bring it out and even it out. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Almost fell off the edge. All right, so this, I'm probably going to make glass eventually. But for now, nothing has to go there. And it can look beautiful just like that. So, for the ends here, that's where we're going to get our shaft power from. So, I think the first thing we're going to work on for this is we need to get we need to get something from create here yep. create so this thing of a bobber array here this rotational speed controller okay what it's going to do is this is going to allow us to control how much speed comes from uh all the water wheels we'll be able to use that speed all and all together um bellish your machines with this imposing wheel of brass is there no what is the function okay so it's just a make things look cool <laughs> all right interesting i wonder if you can use that in that um all right so and then in order to get we're getting off topic here so in order to get this uh, rotational speed controller we need these precision mechanisms okay these things have to be built with these pokers okay One's going to be small cogs, one's going to be large cogs, one's going to be iron nuggets, and they're all going to be pressed into a golden sheet, okay? And you have to repeat this like eight times in order to make one, and, oh, it says five times here, five times repeat. And then you got a 20%, 80% chance that you're actually going to make it. You got a 20% chance you're going to make some random piece of crap. So, yeah, so that's the next challenge right now. So, we're going to need these right here, the deployers. Uh, we're going to need some belts because uh, we're going to need belts. So, let's put the those and those on there because we're probably going to be building a lot of them. And. Yeah, I think that's it for now. I think that's all we need. Because um, what about the 
Oh, and then there's brass. Yes. Forgot about brass. We gotta make brass. We'll do that after. Uh after I find the last couple of things I'm looking for here. Um so gearboxes will be needed. Vertical gearboxes are just gearboxes. Uh I don't need any of that. I got the belts already. Oh, and then there's the f where are those things? These things here, brass tunnels and brass funnels. So these are going to be important. And I believe that's it. All right, so next thing to deal with is we got to make brass. Now brass is made in a few ways. You can do it with create. You can do copper, zinc. You can go get a uh, a blaze and toss them in there, and you can make brass with one of these things. Or we can just um, do it in an induction smelter which is, I probably think, the best way to do it because I can do all that crap. And then we can just use our little uh, furnace we have over here, this iron generator, to make uh, the power that we need. So let's uh, see what we can do here. I need one of them. Uh, do, do, do. Wonderful. Do we have iron? I do. We have Invar. We don't have Invar. That could pose a problem, though. Machine case. Just missing the glass and the iron. All right, so Invar. Invar. <laughs> yeah. There seems to be an Invar blender maybe we can make. Move the fire charge. I don't know why you would need a fire. Oh, it's because they're making directly into ingots, right? We do an Invar blend. A grit. And a nickel dust. See, the nickel could be a little bit of a problem. Hard to make a pulverizer. I see copper, machine frame, tin gear. You know, I think we can do a pulverizer. Let's check this out. So, let's make a piston. Oh, I have to get in here first. That would be good. All right, so we're not bad. We're only missing the copper gears. Two copper gears. And the machine frame. Oh, okay, so that's iron and the... That's it's so low on iron, it's crazy. Okay, we need the tin gear in the middle. Oh, oh I didn't bring it over any tin, that's why. Uh, that's me, I'm tin. Instead of going over there looking for them all the time there, we'll just throw them all in here. All right. Um, that. 
that. Now the piston. And a pulverizer. All right, so it's going to be helpful. Okay. We're going to get power. Now, the cheesy part is I can already do the, the iron myself. Tin, on the other hand, I'm going to have to um, put in there. So I can use this hammer. And I can or double the uh, the iron dust. Can't do anything else other than gold with it, which is kind of like gold and, uh, and iron. So I need a tin out of here, right? Or, or was it nickel? I think it's nickel to make uh, invar. Correct. Nickel. Yeah. All right. Where's me nickel? That's what nickel looks like. So it's like a two for one, I believe. There we go. So that should crush into that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I should be able to smelt that or make it into uh there you go. And I should make this into Invar. Invar blend. I should be able to take that, throw it in there. And I should be able to get some Invar. Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, everything is a rabbit hole with this game. Everything, everything, everything's rabbit hole, rabbit. All right, I think it just needed what? Um, ugh. I need four gears, so I needed all eight of those. Or uh, hopefully, I made eight. I can't remember how many I made. I think I made nine. Anyways, I just need eight. So throw those in here. There we go. So I got the pulverizer. So I was working on this, right? So we need uh, two of them. Um, we're going to need another one of these. Because we used that last machine frame, right? Yeah. There's a machine frame. I need to make one of them. And a blast furnace. Oh, there's the furnace, and then iron. I am so iron poor, it's retarded. Um, I just don't know what happened to all that iron. I'm pretty sure I had like a stack and a half of iron on me, and it's somewhere, and I have no idea where it went to, and I don't understand why. I think it's going to be all mixed up now because I've been using that, uh, that thing over here. Nothing here has like a priority to it. I don't see my iron. I know I hooked all this up. I'm pretty damn sure. So it's not a question of me not hooking things up. I could have actually just used it, but On what? <laughs> what did I use my iron on? Gosh darn it. All right, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess while waiting for some resources here, um, we need iron. I guess I could do one row of this in the meantime. Which probably would be the better thing to do with it, because then you could probably get more out of it. So if you go like this. 
All right, let's put that in the pulverizer. So I do get two. <clears throat> Is it two every single time, though? That's that's the thing. Hopefully, yes. All right, it is. That's good. And the other ones are a chance of byproduct of. That's cool. All right, so at least I get two out of each. Say, it comes out to the same thing as me using that hammer that I had. Um, this thing here. Except it doesn't use power. So, like, I can come here. I can go here. Here. Oh, or was it not? It was the chunks. Oh. Yeah, it was only those chunks. Yeah, yeah, so those aren't the same. Yeah, okay, so that's probably the same way as coming over here and knocking off one of these and using the hammer that I have. All right. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. That's interesting. That's going to give me a little bit more iron anyways. Um, guess we're gonna wait on that. See, look, I got a nickel from that that time. That time, that's good. That's good energy in it. All right, so we'll just wait on this <clears throat> since it's pretty much all iron we're waiting for. For oh, I guess I could put uh, that in there. Oh, there you go. Um, let's do that. We'll leave that there. So I got a little bit of iron coming in. I got the three I need now. So now it's for this, that. Oh, I needed five. Needed five. Oh, no. All right. We got it. We got it. Well, blast furnace. Induction smelter. Et voila. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We did it. Can I put it on top? I can. So that's good. Now I can make... Um, I can make brass. Yeah, that's what I want to make. So brass is just... Uh, Copper and tin. There you go. Uh, did I do that? Yeah, I did. So let's only go with um, even half of that. I'll try that. So you together, you're going to make brass, hopefully. Hopefully that's what you're going to do. I am bronze. What? Did I mess up the recipe? Was it uh, not that? Oh, it's zinc. Oh, okay. Okay, it's zinc. Okay, that's good. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, where's my zinc? Well, let's try that again. But if I ever need uh, some bronze now, I got it. <laughs> uh, and there's the brass that we're looking for. <coughs> That's funny. 
All right. That's too bloody funny. That's too bloody funny. So now we're getting closer. We're getting closer to making whatever we're, we're making here. So these uh, are going to need, so we're going to need four 12 brass sheets in total. Well, I'm going to grab the 12 that come out of here. And then we'll turn those into brass sheets. There we go. So if I ever so lucky. Nice. That's good enough that it'll turn them into brass sheets for me. Beautiful. All right, now that we got the 12 brass sheets, that's good. That's going to help us make those uh, little pointer thingies. Well, we'll just throw those in there. I'll toss those in there, too, now. Um, oh, yeah, the polished rose quartz, huh? Rose quartz. All right, I grabbed four. I was probably only needed three, but uh, sandpaper is just paper and sand. Uh, who got? I don't have sugar cane. Sugar. Maybe I did have sugar. Yeah. No sugar. Sugar cane comes from sieving dirt. Dirt. All right. Let's see. Um, that's funny that I never got any. So I said quite a bit of dirt. <clears throat> Alright, what do I got in here? I only got seven dirt, huh? Well, let's take our chances here. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll uh, not at all. Not at all. Oh, and a carrot. So, I guess uh, the best way to make more of that would be... Uh, I do have apples in here, though. Um, I don't really want to use all my wheat. I can use my taters. Yeah, I can use my taters. Use a little bit of grass, too. And I guess I could use some kelp. There we go. We'll make this all into um, all into grass or dirt. Sorry, and we'll sift it. Um, I should have a chest in here. Let's grab this chest. Bam. All right, so I'll do a little bit more resource gathering <laughs> because, like, you know, the, the getting more, uh, more of this stuff, more of the iron, all this good stuff, try to get more of that, and, uh, yeah, and then I'll come back and we'll keep building stuff, try to keep getting into the whole create thing. Uh, except that rose gold and that. Yeah, so we'll try to keep getting into the whole create thing. 
That way we can use our water wheels to do the stuff that we need to do. Because um, having full control over the water or over the uh, stress units that are in there is pretty important. Otherwise, you're making a very big convoluted thing in order to get power out of it. So we'll just take our time. We'll do everything right the first time around, and then, then we won't have to worry about it later. All right, so I'll be back there in a bit. Okay, dokie. So we got uh, 33 uh, dirt here. So we'll try to pass that. Now, let me check here first. Uh, sugar King, check here. Iron, string. Oh. So iron, string, or flint. Really, anything else? It didn't pop up in. Iron is a 15%. Flint was a 15%. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's take you off. Uh, do I have any mesh in here? I have a string mesh, which I can use to maybe make a... Yeah, because the flint mesh and the string mesh were the same, right? When it came to... Or the iron mesh, I meant. Yeah. So let's just do an iron one and pass them all on the iron. Or the flint one and see what happens. Oh, look, I already got one. Sugar cane down at the bottom. Nice. Alright, so, um, massive amount of seeds. <laughs> oh, I think all this inventory stuff is going to get full real quick. Real, real quick. That's fine. That's fine. No big deal. And apparently I finished a quest. Wow. So if I put in a... Go like that. I could probably take all these pebbles. Make them all into... Whatever they need to be, right? That will free up a little bit of inventory space. Uh, was that all of them? Apparently it was. All right, so let me just remove these because I can throw them in the garbage because I got so much stuff in there as it is. All right, so uh, let's go to the edge of the world and then toss these over. Take up space. All right. So I'm sure that freed up quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of friggin' space in there. So, all right. So now, sugar. I don't know why am I going sure, sure, sugar, sugar. Oh, this is, it's sugar, sugar. <laughs> All right, so um, let's replace the taters with sugar for now, I guess. I think that would probably be best. And that's doing okay. So that's going to give us some sugar, uh, some friggin' sugar cane over time. And it's mainly the uh, for <clears throat> for paper. All right, so since I got that one growing, I'm going to take that paper and I should have some sand. Sand. I think one will do for now. Now, the way this works is you put that there, this here, and you go like this. And you make rose gold. Bam! Hey, isn't that awesome? All right, so... 
Damn, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. <clears throat> andesite casings. All right, so we just need some more andesite casings. That's that's easy. That we can do. That we can do. Uh, there's the andesite. And then some wood. Let's go with like one, two, three, four, five, six. That way I don't have to make these too, too often. There we go. Now I got six casings in there. Now I can make three of these. No. Uh, I didn't do the hands yet, right? One, two, three hands. That's true. Now I should be able to do that. Hey, where? Oh, I didn't make those yet. Ah, uh, those just iron plates, iron sheets, iron. My arch enemy, iron. That's okay. I come prepared this time. Look, uh, one, two, three. I think that's all we needed was three iron ones. There we go. Manpower that. Nothing beats manpower. <laughs> All right. That's three. So I go one, two, three. Throw that over. Now I got the three of the buggers I need. All right. So. So, so, so. Step number one. That's done. Step number two, we need to smelt some kelp. I can't believe I didn't do any of that yet. Run around the entire base. All right, let's do a stack. Yeah, let's do a stack. Stack sounds good to me. Fill up. Okay, so we'll wait for that to come in. Then let's claim our quests here. We haven't done that in a little while. So uh, I guess go see what we got here. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Ooh, a dolphin, a vintage bed. Ooh. Bunch of different types of foods. Probably really shouldn't have been opening up all this crap because we already got lots of crap in our inventory. But that's fine. Uh, aqua walkers. Interesting. Do I get to walk on water with those? You may learn more about this relic on a researching table. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Okay, so these are tokens. Awesome. A golden halo. That's a hat. How is it floating? I don't know. Questions, questions. Uh, I wish I had one more, right? Yeah. And an iron chest. Well, look at that. We actually need that iron chest. <clears throat> because uh, things are getting uh, kind of tight here. All right, so if I go like this, and I go cable, toss one of those in there, I can go this, and then put the iron chest there, and look, we got more, more space to craft crap and throw crap in. <laughs> Uh, that's the one good thing about all these iron mod chests there. Uh, I'm really liking that. You can upgrade these too past iron. I think you can go like all the way up to diamond or whatever. But I think when you upgrade them, you should remove all the contents from them just to make sure that you uh, you don't trash them because there's some mods there that uh, when you do try to upgrade them, it, it, it just destroys everything on the inside. And if you had some really good stuff in there, well, you pretty much will just lost it all. Pretty much. All right, so let's go here. 
How many belts can we make with this? Two? That should be more than enough, though. And then let me go back here at create. I want to take more shafts. Uh, I think that should be enough. Then we need some of these cog wheels. Um, do we really? I don't know. Do we really? <clears throat> Grab one of each for now. Because I don't think we're going to need too many of those. I think it's going to be more like gearboxes and stuff like that that we're going to end up needing. Right? That's probably it. Let's make a gearbox just for... Why no gearbox? There we go. That will be good. I'll take those shafts back. Um, a gearbox should be fine. But really, will it be fine? <laughs> Do I need more? I'm wondering if I need more than just one gearbox. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, let's... um. How many did I make of those stupid little things? I didn't make enough. One, two, three, four. Let's make another gearbox. So I got two gearboxes. I think that should be enough to do what I want to do with. Um, oh no, I got to think about the up top too. I'm not thinking about up top. I'm just thinking about down top. <laughs> All right, so let's like work on a belt here, get a rough idea where this is all gonna go. So I go like this and one, two, three, four. Let's go like that. And then this to that, there's our belt. Ooh, okay. Then we wanna put one, two, three here. Those are all deploying, but uh, can I turn those? Turn them on the side, but I think I can probably pick them up and uh mm, wonder if i can do this do that this that uh that didn't work all right uh that yeah they're uh pretty retarded aren't they Because I would like them to be all facing that way. So maybe if I did that. <laughs> there we go. You can't fool me. All right. So then that way the power can go in there. So power can go here. Right. And then I just need power to come up from here. So if I make... Both of those into vertical gearboxes. I can put one here like this, put a shaft in the middle, put a vertical gearbox there. That will mean I need another gearbox to put here. <clears throat> and then that will be all good to go. Hey, man, you come to look at my, my setup? Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it. Much appreciated. 
So then there's power input back there too, so I could kind of like put another gearbox and run and hide the power so that way it doesn't look, you know, I don't have all these pipes and crap going all over the place. I can do a lot of the stuff hidden underneath. So like this, I could probably put like a shaft like this, put a gearbox, like a vertical one, and then have it go down underground and then lead over here and then... That would probably look a lot nicer. Then I wouldn't have crap all over the place. The only thing is, is I think I would change it out so that way that um, the patount that I'm making is is going to go there. But for now, I really don't care. I think I'm just going to get another gearbox and then hook it up through this fashion right here. So let's go... Um, Let's go, let's go, let's go. I need to make more of this. So I need more nuggets. That's fine. I'm going to need more chaff. And we need more of these. And I'm going to need more of these. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I need more casing. So I can just go like so. That should be good. And then I'll take seven of them, I guess. That'll be good enough for me. Perfect. And then throw all that junk in there. And let's try this again. So there we go. I got six of them. And then one of these. Uh, I think we'll be good, actually. So I should be able to do that. That should connect all of that together. Right? And then I brought some shaft with me. That's good. So... We need... Two verticals. And I'll have to go make some more shaft, unfortunately. Gonna be really anxious when I can do. Oh, I have some here. When, um, oh, but then there's the big. Uh, you're gonna see how slow it is at first. I think that would probably be the best thing to do. So here's a vertical one there. And then I'm gonna need a piece of shaft there. And another one there. So see how slow they are? Now, this has 512 stress units, okay? But you're only getting, like, the rotational speed of whatever that shaft is turning at, right? So, in order to, like, kind of, like, speed this up, we can do that. We can do that. Because with the way rotational speeds work, right, this is how it's supposed to go. So, you got to put a... Larger one here. See, now the speed is a lot faster. Right? Then you do a... You can do one up here. See, look how much faster that is. Right? And then... You can go... Here. So now we need to connect these two right here. So... Do I have, I just have two gearboxes normal, so I can put a gearbox here, a gearbox there. Can I bring a shaft with me? No, it doesn't matter. I could just take this here and put a gear there. Now, as you see, these are a lot faster than what they were. So that's good. That's good. So now we got a little bit more speed. Okay, so this is kind of how we 
speed things up temporarily in order before we get that controller that we're looking for, right? So now we got to go get a bunch of iron ingots. Uh, not iron ingots, iron uh, nuggets. Then we need a bunch of small cogs and then a bunch of big cogs. So, in order to make this thing right here, right? Oh, probably all in that order, too. Yeah. Okay, so it has to go small cog wheel, big cog wheel, and then the iron nugget last. And then, so I'm going to try to make a stack of each one of these. And when I get a stack of each, I'll be back. And then, uh, yeah. So I got a little bit of grinding to do. After I do all that, uh, I'll come back and we'll uh, we'll get those uh, those made together. All right, so a little bit of a kajiggering later, I managed to get the uh, 64 iron nuggets, 64 cogwheels, and 64 large cogwheels. I also took the time to make uh, six more golden sheets because we're going to need them for the the, the setup. And then uh, we have these things here called andesite funnels and. Um, what they do is they're kind of like a sideways hopper, if you want to look at it, like a, a vertical hopper, right? So we can take a, a chest here like this. We can put another chest here like this. And we take this funnel. It connects to the chest. And then that one connects to that chest, right? So whatever comes off of that belt can be put onto that belt. Now you get brass ones, and the brass ones you can um, you can program. You can put filters into them, and you can tell it what to accept and what not to accept. But this is pretty straightforward what we're doing here. So we'll try to put these in the order that they need to be in. So if we go, I believe you got a shift click D. No. Uh, okay, you just got to click them in his hand. All right, so that's perfect. Now, we take these golden sheets, and we got to put it in here. Now, you don't make one right off the bat, I don't think. I think you got to pass these five times before they become complete, right? So now we got them all. And we take all these six back, put them through here. And they're all going to get out here, put on there. That's time number two. Now remember, they got a, an 80% chance to succeed and a 20% chance to fail. So let's grab these six. Same thing again. There we go. Back at her. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this should be the last time. This pack creator was pretty generous because I think normally it's like eight times or whatever you got to do it. But uh, if it's only five and I was wrong, well, whatever. But we got one more time to go. There we go. There we go. So really, it's six times. The original creation plus five repeats. So that makes six. So here, we got uh, one. That was a failure. That was a good one. Another good one. A failure. And a good one. Not too bad. We got four good good ones out of that. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm actually very happy with that. So, yeah. Um, now... We can take those. Goody for us. Okay. Now we can go back over here into our little patent. We'll just throw all that in there. Now our goal is to make this thing right here. Now we need a brass casing. A brass. Oh, it's just the same way. Take the brass. We'll take our logs that we had earlier. Okay. And we put these seven logs on the ground. And we'll make brass casings out of these ones. Which is fine. 
because we'll end up using them in the future. Take that all in there and drop them puppies in there. Let me grab one of these. I want two because like um, one for each side of the uh, of the gizmo. <clears throat> then we'll make two of these. Oh, those flywheels. <laughs> were they actually used for anything or they were just... Um, uh, I, yeah, see this right here. On, I just want to like see if it'll it'll be a use in conjunction with that because that would be kind of kind of cool to make it look nice. All right, so let's get rid of this, 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 that, and that. I guess. All right. So the power, if I'm not mistaken, is driven off of onto this. Is that right? So if I go like that, I should really get myself something to jump up there with. You know, considering I can't fly or anything. Uh, Alright, what do we got over here? Now, I just want to see if these work. It goes in, but it doesn't do anything. Alright, let me try this. Oh, that's like super slow. Looks friggin' beautiful, though, eh? Okay, so that's not what that's for. Um, so I'm going to have to use that like this. And this one. <clears throat> so that's the one that spins. So to make it look nice, I could go like this. Right? And then take my rotational shaft and power and bring it down. All right. So I'm going to take a gearbox because that will probably look the nicest. Um. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Because really, to make it look nice, you'd want to kind of bring it around, maybe. Because you don't want this, like, hanging right off of that. Because then there's that wheel, and then I just want to turn it, right? The only way to really turn it is by getting it like this. But then it won't be centered, and dilemmas, conundrums. All to make it look nice, right? This is what I'm trying to break my head over. I guess I can make more gearboxes and just swing it around and then make it look nice like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. Um, for now, I think I'm just going to take these. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's go make some gearboxes. I got three more. Uh, gearbox here. And I can actually switch those back to normal gearboxes. So I got six gearboxes. All right. So that's good. That's good. That's good. All this and the power of making this look nice. Crazy, right? All right. So. Uh...
of this. And then... Oh, that's not the way you're supposed to be facing, amigo. You're supposed to be facing that way. No, 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 no. I will put you here first. Then I will put you there. Okay, we're still going the right way. That's good. And I will put you. And then just to show you like how you can speed this stuff up. Uh, use the wrench maybe. Nope. Or you used to just kind of like shift and look at it. But that doesn't seem to be the uh, rotate speed controller. Click and hold. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I could choose the direction of which way it spins. No way. That's pretty dope. Okay. <laughs> I like what they did here. All right, so let's make that at like uh, 64. We don't need it to be too, too retarded. So... That will go on there like that. And then that looks oops. That looks pretty good. I can do something like uh, a vertical gearbox now. All right. And then we got the rotational shaft going down. I have it something like this. Going right into the ground here, maybe. Yeah. Right into here. So I'll probably put a another vertical one in here just to make it look nice, right? Yeah. That sounds good. All right, so we get some more shafts. Some more shaft. All right, some shaft here. And then I th think we'll be good. Bam, bam. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot, really? It's right on the edge. Ooh. Well, technically, it won't be right on the edge because I still have my border that's going around that. So, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. So, like so. And like so. That will be covered up. We won't see it. And then... Uh... Because that can come down like this. And then under this one, probably. That would be the better way. So I'd want to connect. That like that. So it's coming up. And then I'm going to have to get down there. Definitely gonna have to get down there. Why doesn't that work anymore? Oh, is it because I'm like 
Okay. So it doesn't like you looking down. Anyways. That's no. It's a, that's a weird mod. It's a weird mod. I'll get used to it. Alright, so. We'll just jump down here with it. And then... So on this one, I'm going to need a gearbox. Uh, so technically, I'm probably going to need two gearboxes. Oops. I didn't go far enough. Apparently not. Uh, yeah, so one going this way. One going here, and then this one can be a normal gearbox. And then the rest I can just put shaft. Oops. Yeah. And I just put a gearbox there and I'll be fine. Not gonna let me out, are you? Figures. That's fine. I'll trick you. Oops. There we go. So I just need one more gearbox. That's all I'm after. And then that little thing should be automated just fine. Um, where are we? Oh, so it's the end of the casing boxes I need. Eh? Okay, okay. Okie dokie. There we go. This, this. I'll just do six. No. Uh, and then these. Bam. All right. And then just make as many as these as I can. There you go, I made all six. Perfect. Uh, they're not lost. They'll all be used somewhere along the line, that's for sure, right? All right, so if I put those there, these get used uh, pretty good. Everything's a lot faster. And then the belt is turning the right way. That's good. So at least we got that automated. I'll get some planks here. And we'll hide that back up. And beautiful. Now it's all kind of like hidden automated. Now if we ever want to make any more of these precision thingies, we can just come back and make them and everything will be just fine. Uh, but that's it for today, I think. I and mean, we did quite a bit. We got, um, what is it there? We got storage kind of started. Okay. We got, uh, create kind of started. I'm kind of happy I did this because I, I was really, I was really procrastinating on whether to do this or not, but I, I'm glad we did it. Um, then when we done this, we'll, uh, come back next time and we'll work on getting the crushing wheels and do a little crushing wheel setup where we have our gravel being done our sand being done and our dust being created and i don't think i'm going to worry about sifting them using this over here i don't know what we're doing yet with that but uh, i will i do want the creation of at least sand gravel and dust being done by the end of next episode so now that we have like you know proper power here create power being done um i think this is a huge step in the right direction so anyways i hope you enjoyed the episode everybody so peace take care and we'll see you next time Bye bye